Hello, my dear students. Let's have a look into these questions, and these are from colligative properties, right? Yes. So you can answer these kind of questions very easily once after completing this uh, short video. Okay. So now, what exactly colligative properties? So these colligative properties are uh, number dependent properties. Generally, these colligative properties are shown by ideal solutions. Okay. So now, what exactly colligative properties means? These are number dependent properties. For example, here I am taking one mole of urea and one mole of uh, NaCl in the aqueous medium. Okay. Now. Now, urea is a non electrolyte right so the number of urea particles will be same one mole of urea particles will be there but when we add NaCl we will be getting one mole of Na plus ions and one mole of Cl minus ions now number of particles is how many now we have two moles of particles we have therefore number of particles increasing now so all these properties also increases for this okay I mean this for NaCl it is almost double of of the urea the colligative properties of NaCl will be double of this urea why it is because this colligative properties all these are just number dependent properties now what you can understand from this so all this so directly you can write directly proportional to number of particles in that particular solution right so which is indicated by van der Heer factor i okay so for all these particles if they ask you to arrange them based on the colligative properties order as i have shown you directly proportional to i so you will get more clarity by looking into this question see for all of them i have mentioned with same concentration molality okay now i am asking them to arrange based on their elevation in boiling point and depression in freezing point orders okay now this is an electrolyte now so number of particles will be na plus and cl minus i value will be 2 and urea which is non electrolyte i value will be 1 right so it will not undergo dissociation bacl2 can undergo dissociation we can get 1 ba plus 2 and 2 cl minus so i value will be 3 and here i value will be 4 1 fe plus 3 ion and 3 cl minus ion so i value is 4 so now osmotic pressure always uh, rlvp delta tb delta tf all these are directly proportional to what i right so now i value is more for what fe cl3 Therefore, its, uh, uh, its delta TB and delta TF, all these uh, colligative properties will be highest for uh, option D, then C, option B, then and least uh, option A, then least is for B. Hope it is clear how we are solving this kind of questions. Now, look into that questions again. Uh, just pause the video and look into that uh, questions. You can easily answer those videos, those questions. Okay. Now, look into this. Here, uh, all this RLVP, all these properties are directly proportional to I. And one more thing you need to remember is, so depression uh, freezing point of solution, like freezing point of solution is inversely proportional to I because it is negative of I. So more I value, lower will be its uh, freezing point of that solution. So this order will be reverse for freezing point of solution. Hope it is clear and helpful. Just give a try for all the questions which I have shown here and you can answer in the comment box. Thank you for watching.